Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here, the question tells us that a coin is biased so that the head is three times as likely to occur as tail. So we have been given the condition that says probability of head is having a three times chance compared to probability of a tail. The further question tells us that this coin is tossed until you get a head or tails occurs three times. So basically, if you get a head, you stop tossing the coin. Or if you get tails for three times continuously, also you stop tossing the coin. So that's the idea given. Then they have also told us X denotes number of tosses. So this capital X basically denotes the number of tosses. Then we have been asked to find the mean value of X here. So let's see, how do we calculate the mean of X? First option given to us here is 81 over 64. Second option given to us here is 37 over 16. Third option, 21 over 16. The last option given to us here is 15 over 16. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer choice for the question given to us. So if I see mean, it's nothing but expected value that is asked to us for the X. And expected value we know already it's calculated as summation of X into P of X, where X is the number of tosses and P of X is probability for that many number of tosses required. So let's first of all calculate what is the probability of heads and what is the probability of tails so that this condition is also satisfied. Now when you toss a coin, we know total probability is always equal to 1. So we know that the total probability of the any outcome appearing on the up of a coin is equal to 1. So I understand probability of heads or probability of tails that should add up to form 1. Now we have also been given that probability of heads has 3 times chance compared to probability of tail. So probability of tails 3 times plus probability of tails is equal to 1. So instead of probability of heads, I am writing 3 times probability of tails. So I get 4 times probability of tails equals 1. So probability of tails becomes 1 over 4. Now once I have probability of tails as 1 over 4, I can further write that as probability of heads becomes 3 times probability of tails. So it becomes 3 times 1 over 4. That makes it 3 over 4. So I have probability of heads 3 over 4. And I have probability of tails 1 over 4. So once I have probability of heads and tails here with me, I can further solve the question here. So probability of heads is known 3 over 4. Probability of tails also is known 1 over 4. Now we need to start with our experimentation here. So we know we need to find the mean value. For that we need x. We also need probability of that x. And further, once we get x and probability of x, we'll multiply the two ideas. And when we multiply all the cases, we'll find the total of them. So when we find the total of them, that total actually gives us the mean value of x that is asked to us here. So we'll get the answer for the question as well. So first of all, let's go for the first idea. If number of tosses required are 1. So number of tosses, if I required 1, I understand I cannot have with 1 toss 3 tails, right? So I need to have, if I just need to have 1 toss, I need to have a head in the first toss itself. So I stop my experimentation there. So if I put x equal to 1, I know in the first case only I would get a head here. So probability of heads, we know it is 3 over 4. So we know probability at x equals to 1. So that 1 toss is required. It's 3 over 4. So I have the probability with me here that a head is obtained on the first toss. So at x equals to 1, we know probability of x equals to 1 is 3 over 4. Let's talk about other second. Probability of x equals to 2. x equals to 2 means 2 tosses are required. And after that, you stop the experimentation. Whenever two tosses are required means you do not obtain a head on the first toss. So you get a tail on the first toss. 
so you do your experimentation again with the second coin and second time when you toss it you will get a heads because you need to do tosses only two times so you should get a head then probability of getting tails in this case it's 1 over 4 you already know probability of getting a heads on the second toss it's 3 over 4 so you get 3 over 16 that's your probability at x equals 2 so for two tosses we know the probability as well 3 over 16 next x equals to 3 means now there will be three tosses required now you stop the experimentation here when you get tails on the first co first tossed coin second you again get a tail so you can continue third coin when you are tossing you would get a head and once you get a head you stop your experimentation but if you see the condition given you also stop if you get three tails continuously so there can be three tosses as well possible so i can have all the three tails so once i get all the three tails as well i stop my experimentation so basically i know now that my number of tosses will only go till three it won't go beyond three because in the third toss you would either get a head or a tail if you get a head, you still stop your experimentation. If you get a tail also, you are getting three tails consecutively. So you also stop your experimentation here as well. So you solve for this probability at x equals to 3. We know probability of tails is 1 over 4, 1 over 4 and heads is 3 over 4. Or this is 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So you get this as 3 over 64. Here you get 1 over 64. So you get 4 over 64. That is 1 over 16. So you get the probability here also for x equals to 3 and that is 1 over 16. Now if you multiply x with p of x. So 1 into 3 over 4 that is 3 over 4. 2 into 3 over 16. So that is 3 over 8. Because 2 gets cancelled with 16. And 3 over 16. Now. To find the mean of this, we know we just have to find the summation. So mean value of x, if I write it down, it is nothing but summation of x into p of x. And if I add them, we have 3 over 4, 3 over 8, and 3 over 16. That was the entire idea unknown. right? So if I just find the mean here, by adding all of these ideas, I get this as multiplying by 4 multiplying by 2 so you get 12 here you get 6 here you get 3 so you get 12 plus 6 that is 18 18 plus 3 that is 21 so you get the answer here as 21 over 60 so that becomes the answer for the question if you see the answer choice that matches here it matches with option c so C becomes a correct answer for the question given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which asks us to find the mean value of the X here, where X in this case was number of tosses that needs to be done. And you do the toss until you obtain a head or three tails consecutive. So we had first toss in which we get directly a head. So we stop there. So that's three fourth. For two tosses, we get first tails and then second heads and once we get heads we stop again so we get 1 by 4 into 3 by 4 so 3 by 16 and for three tosses we can have first two tails but then third heads so you stop or you can have first two tails and third also tails which consecutively gives you three tails so you again stop your experimentation so you understand that you stop at x equals to 3 you do not go beyond three tosses there when i solve for that i got the probability 1 by 16 I put that in my table of x and px and then I multiplied them individually for 1, 2 and 3 tosses and once I got that I did the total for that and the total matches with option c that was 21 by 16. So I get my mean value of x which was asked to me that is 21 by 16. So that is the answer for the question which is asked to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions.
I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And if you are enjoying these videos that I'm taking every day, please do like the videos as well. Also, do subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.